Now to the latest on the Titan submersible tragedy. An international group of agencies is now investigating what caused the implosion that killed all five people on board. Officials from the United States, Canada, France and United Kingdom are working together on the probe with the U.S. Coast Guard taking the lead. So what is it like to be in a submersible thousands of feet below the ocean's surface? Today I spoke to a local professor who got to experience that off the coast of Puerto Rico. Hawaii Pacific University assistant professor Olivia Nigro was one of three crew members who journeyed on the famous Alvin submersible last summer. Their goal, certify Alvin's dive depth from 4,500 to 6,500 meters, about 20,000 feet. Was she nervous? There definitely is a lot of adrenaline um, but really like once you hit the water and you're going down, it's very peaceful. Did, did you feel claustrophobic at all? No, actually, um, with the Alvin, they make you get in first and, um, and see how you do. They, they put you in, close the hatch while you're still on, on board the ship and kind of see your reaction, watch your heart rate, watch if you get panicky. And if you kind of give any of those signs, then they don't authorize you to go down. She was in the Alvin for about eight hours exploring the ocean's bottom. We got to dive on top of um, hydrothermal vents, which was which was really amazing. Um, it's kind of like a barren seafloor. And then you come across this spot where there's just hot water spouting out of the seafloor. Um, and because there's this hot water, you have um, animals that are you know drawn to it. Um, it's kind of like this little oasis of life on the otherwise barren seafloor. Despite the recent tragedy, Nigro says she would not hesitate going on the Alvin again. She hopes what happened to the Titan won't put a damper on ocean exploration. I think that that's something that we shouldn't stop doing, but that safety should always be the number one priority when we're, you know, I, you know, I think there's a worry in the, in the deep sea community that, that this will kind of, um, you know, cast a shadow on what we're trying to do, but, um, I think that we just need to move forward in a way that's safe for, for everyone involved. 